between our punishment and our promise. And if I can say, because many times we're dealing with our punishment because there were some things that God allowed me to go through, but then there were some things I put myself in. And so I try to ask God to pull me out of something that I keep putting myself in. And so we try to put God in a relationship that he never created. We try to put God in a friendship that he never created. We even try to put God in churches that he never started. You must understand that if God ain't in it, it's not going to work. We try to clean up from the outside in, but the truth of the matter is I need God to clean me up from the inside out. I realize that at the end of the day, I've been dancing broken. I've been shouting broken. I've been serving broken. I've been speaking in tongues and still broken. I realize I have some issues. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, don't judge me. But you want to talk about the person that has a public sin. And so nowadays the church has come to the point that nowadays we want to pick and choose what we want to sit down and what we don't want to sit down. But let's just be real. All of us are damaged. Chapter 4, anybody kill him. And sometimes you need people in your circle that says, I'm going to help you before you die here. Lord have mercy. Sometimes you need folks in your circle that refuse to allow you to die in the place you're in. The time Mephibosheth was in Lodabar, that the creek came out from David. Because David says, I got to keep the covenant of Jonathan. And you got to know that when God make you a promise, his promises are yea and they are amen I just came by you've been damaged but you still got a promise you've been damaged but you still got a destiny come here Jeremiah for I know the thoughts